While Naruto's victory over Kakazu demonstrated his tremendous growth, major changes were also taking place in the Orochimaru faction. Sasuke had rebelled against his master. Orochimaru had been severely weakened when the third Hokage sealed his arms, and now Sasuke had surpassed him. And now Sasuke had no use for him. Seeking to usurp Orochimaru's power for his own, Sasuke sought to assassinate him. I knew this time would come, Sasuke. There's nothing more you can teach me. I'm finished with you. It ends here. Fledgling is all you could get your hands on. It didn't work with Itachi. Is that why you came after me? You still couldn't do it in the end, though. You couldn't equal the Uchiha, let alone overcome them. No matter how much of a genius you are, you're just a normal man before the Uchiha. You can't win, Orochima. It's impossible for you to take my body. <laughs> You may be the first person to ever make such a fool of me. <laughs> Take this! Every genius dwindles to mediocrity before a new Chiha. A snake that crawled on the earth dreamt of soaring through the sky, knowing full well it was impossible. Still, in vain, it nurtured a baby bird in its own nest, failing to realize that the bird had become a hawk and the snake was now its prey. This can't... <clears throat> this can't be happening! I am Orochimaru. I am immortal. I will not die here. I, I am the one who will unlock the mysteries of nature. I am the one who will receive everything. I am. I will take your power. Defeated by Sasuke's visual prowess, Orochimaru was overthrown. After biding his time for so long, Sasuke could finally begin his quest for vengeance.